Hello, I'm back. Today, I will show you how to knit a winter scarf. Okay, I knitted this men's scarf. Okay, last December, and my husband is using this during the winter. Okay, um, I have here the leftover yarn from this. Okay, from this uh, scarf I knitted, and uh, I am thinking maybe I will knit a sock or a pet or a beanie, okay, for men, okay. Um, this kind of scarf, they are very expensive in the shop, okay, especially here in Europe, they are very expensive. Now, if you do it yourself, if you make it yourself, you can make not only for your husband, for your children, and also for yourself, and also for your family if they are living abroad, okay? Later, I will show you uh, how to knit this very simple and very basic scarf, okay? Uh, I will show you a demo only a demo and also how to make the fringe okay how to add fringe to the ends of the scarf okay so we will begin knitting okay i will teach you how to knit and purl that is uh, the very simple uh, pattern to knit a scarf okay we will cast on um, 10 stitches for a demonstration, okay? You can uh, cast on an even numbers or odd numbers, okay? That is up to you. But uh, for a demo uh, only, I will cast on 10 stitches. And this is how to cast on. Okay. There you are. See how? Don't forget. Please remember. Okay. And then I will put it here. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide it here. Okay. And then what you will do. This is the first thing you need to learn. Okay. Before you start knitting. Okay. Then grab the yarn okay and that's it okay so turn around okay and then here here should remain on this side okay on this side you see okay the short yarn should remain here and the long one should remain on this side okay this is the working yarn okay okay so we will begin cast on okay so we will cast on 10 stitches for the sake of the demo okay now here you see that okay we already have one here and then insert your needle between okay you see mm -hmm. between you see and then pull the yarn and bring it inside here okay mm -hmm. don't be confused i will repeat it it will be easy for you that's why i have to make it slowly so you can follow okay there you are there okay you see there there insert it here okay and then that you see on the side i will show you on the side grab that and then bring it back okay on the same okay three again okay you see 
insert insert it here between then grab this and then return on the same position okay where you be where you been before okay okay so we have four another one yeah that's it you remember huh this one is positioned here and this one the working yarn is here on this finger okay so you're gonna position okay you see you see here oh they are holding they are controlling the two yarns okay so that's okay and then insert okay and then pull the yarn pull the yarn there wait okay you see pull you see and then okay i will repeat again insert pull there you are now we will begin knitting okay there you are we will do knit purl knit purl alternate till we reach the last stitches okay we will do first the knit one okay okay i hope you can see okay this is how i wrap the yarn around my fingers okay i will repeat again here put it here there and there and there okay so if you are beginners don't be confused okay you just need to practice okay now we will knit okay the first stitch okay we will insert the needle okay on the first stitch you see you can move it around on the front and on the back okay then on the back we will wrap the yarn around the needle and then bring it out okay and then release the need the stitches okay there you are now we will purl we will bring the yarn on the front okay and this time wait and this time we will purl one stitch okay okay there insert your needle on the front this time whenever you do purl always insert the needle on the front okay when you do the stitch when you do the knitting stitch insert the needle here on the back okay okay but now we are on the front because we will do bow stitch okay so what we will do wrap okay you see okay this time the working yarn is on the back so we will put the needle on this side okay going to the back and then we will wrap the yarn around the needle there you are and this time bring the yarn on the front and insert the needle on the front okay and wrap the yarn around the needle and bring it up okay so i hope you will not be confused knit again wrap okay and purl wrap okay knit again there wrap i'm doing it slowly so you can follow okay 
and the last two stitches I will knit okay and then purl okay okay now we finish the first row we turn around the needle okay and we will start again knit purl knit purl knit purl okay so this and this and that okay that's very easy okay so knit purl knit and purl knit and purl knit and purl knit and purl okay so turn around and repeat the procedure of knit purl knit purl knit purl till you reach the last stitches and i will come back to you okay you see how nice it is and this is reversible okay you can wear it both sides you see they are reversible you do not know which one is the front or which one is the back because they are reversible you can wear which the other which way you want okay so you see you see okay you see mm. so how you will know which one is the front and the back you see, you remember the tail here okay so here is the front okay and here is the back and there is no difference okay so that's how to knit a very simple uh, scarf for yourself for your husband for your loved ones and children and you can cast on many stitches as you want okay if you if you are not sure how 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 many stitches you want to cast on to make a scarf when you go to the knitting shop you just tell to the lady or to the owner you want to knit a scarf for yourself or for your husband okay how many stitches you need to cast on okay and uh, how long and uh, you need to knit the whole for a whole scarf how long okay and then the width and she will say that to you and that's the tip i can give you if you are a beginner okay so now i will teach you how to add the fringe okay the long fringe like here okay now it is depends it's up to you how long you want okay and this is very simple to make okay and this is how to make the fringe okay so let's say you are finished with your scarf okay let's say this is scarf this is only a demo okay and then here is the yarn to for the fringe okay let's say you want a a length of this it's up to you how long you want it okay so the scarf the knitted scarf they are very expensive here in europe especially if you go to the shop they will cut it here that's why if you know how to knit yourself you don't need to be 
a professional okay knitters if you know the basic you can make a scarf okay i've been knitting for already 10 years okay and uh, i knit a scarf blouses um beanie socks okay next time i will show you how to knit a sock or a beanie okay so they're already in pieces now this is only a demo okay okay let's say oh let's say for the children you want to make for the children okay so you only have to fold it this okay let's say for the children there then what you're gonna do you only need a crochet hook okay let's say you finish here and then what you will do here you see here okay there okay and then you insert insert it here there you are okay once you insert it here there mm -hmm. there you are then you have your fringe okay then again this hole okay again the bar here okay you see all the bars uh, yeah there then we're gonna insert again another one. where is it and then yeah pull okay so that's inside now There you are. There you are. You see? You have a fringe. And so that's how to make a fringe for your scarf. Okay? If you want to, and then if you want to, if you want a thicker fringe, you can do that. Okay? Okay, you see again the bar here. Let's say you want a thick fringe, you can double the yarn, okay? And then insert it here. Right. Double the yarn. Right. Then you will insert it here. there on the bar okay pull it you see ya? then there you are then you have a thick fringe see it's up to you if you want a, a thin fringe okay only single yarn if you want a thick fringe okay then use double yarn okay so that's it only have to put it put the crochet here okay you see the bar okay only on the bar okay so that's how to knit a uh, scarf okay so i hope you enjoy my video and thanks for watching okay you see how nice they are uh -huh. see uh, see this one. oh you see you cannot you cannot uh know which one is the the front and the back because they're both reversible okay so that's it so thanks for watching and i hope you like my video okay
bye and don't forget to subscribe and like my video and uh, please hit the bell for more notification bye <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>